Are you tired of this happening while taming a griffin? My name's Techorsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a griffin, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed griffins. First off, let's prepare. The food you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Allosaurus egg kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, raw prime fish meat, and their cooked variants. I would recommend using Allosaurus egg kibble or raw mutton. It wouldn't hurt to have some raw prime meat just in case. You'll need around 200 narcotics per hour during the tame. At a default rate, a level 50 can take between 40 minutes and 3 hours. A level 100 can take between 1 and 5 hours. A level 150 between an hour and a half and 6 and a half hours. These times are the difference between kibble and cooked prime fish meat. You'll also want a more abundant food source for the griffin to consume when it wakes up. Condition the area around the griffin. Kill off any carnivore that could interfere with your taming. You'll need to keep an eye on the one you want to tame while you do this, and if you have tribe mates to help you, they can be defending the area while you start taming. Griffins have a large turn radius, so this makes it hard for them to land hits on moving targets. Occasionally, they can get stuck flying in a circle around you, but you shouldn't depend on this as a guaranteed tactic. You could build a trap out of stone dinosaur gateways. Get around five spaced about like this, with a door on the first and last gateway. Get the griffin's attention and draw it into the trap and shut the door behind you. If you have someone else to help you, they can shut the first door. Otherwise, you'll either have to run back and shut it yourself, or use a pin pad to shut it. Once trapped, you'll be able to easily knock the griffin out. Once the griffin is knocked out, put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory. Make sure you manage the topor so it doesn't wake up before it's tamed. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. Griffins do not have a saddle and can be ridden at any time after they're tamed. Their primary attack is a claw attack. Their secondary attack is a grab. They can carry an assortment of small creatures. I'll put a link to the full list in the description. The griffin can go into a momentum dive by angling downward while sprinting. This causes the griffin to pick up speed and enables you to use dive attacks. Griffins have two different dive attacks. The first is a diving swipe. While diving, level out and use your primary attack to deal massive damage to your target. The other is a dive bomb. While diving, ram into your target. You will deal damage to both your target and your griffin, as well as bringing your griffin to a stop. This attack deals less damage than the diving swipe. You can also use weapons and tools while mounted. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.